Hello, my friends, and welcome. It is drunk pokeroo time. It is beer time. It is again beer saint beer time. As my friend uh, Hoppy Stash from Instagram sent me some Ottawa area beers, and I'm pretty excited about this one. It is from Beyond the Pale. It is Imperial Super Guy. 9.1%, 90 IBUs. It's a big old hot bomb, and I'm very excited to get into it. It's you know. I like these big boozy slow sippers as much as I love a good crushable beer. There's something about a slow sipper as the weather gets colder that you really can enjoy. Uh, you take your time with the beer. You get into it. This one's brewed with rye, so I'm hoping it's going to be fairly interesting. It looks murky, cloudy, which automatically gets my attention. Now you want to drink your IPAs fresh as they always tell me, so I'm going to do just that. I can smell, you know, I love it when I open an IPA and you can smell the citrus as you're pouring it. Like it's, I can smell it from here and that's great. It is murky, murky orange. Big crackly white head. Let's get into it. Thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate you sending me the beer. It's what the community is all about. Share and share alike, eh? Cheers. Ooh. Ooh. That's a big one. Um, wow. Ooh, ooh. So, when you use rye, you get a little bit of that spicy note, and definitely there's some spiciness in this, but this is a big, piney grapefruit. Boom. Love it. Wow. Okay, even a little, like, resinous. Big resinous pine. Big, pithy grapefruit. Big, malty flavors. Now, not overly malty, because we have had some IPAs this year where They've been overly malty, and they kind of distract from the, the 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 bitterness. This is not the case here. This is a very nice toasted biscuity malt. So you're getting that biscuity malt flavor, hints of caramel. But this is all about that grapefruit, the pine. Hang on, hang on one second. Definitely, you know, it's a it's a nice beer, but you know, you're drinking nine point one percent. There is no accidentally crushing this. There's a bit of heat from the booze. The back end lingers with a bit of the booziness. Grapefruit. A little bit of pineapple sweetness, too, which I kind of like. Very, very good. Excellent. Uh, you know what? Again, a beer I would have missed. And I mean, you know what? If you don't know about a beer, you can't get a beer. Do you really miss it? I guess not. But uh, thank you to my friend for sending this to me. Because without our friends, how would we ever know about beers? How would we ever get some of these exciting beers we get? Make some friends and trade some beers because it's a lot of fun. It really is. And you know what? Not even trade them. Just send some beer. If you know somebody and you become friends with somebody, why not send them a beer? Or give a beer to your good friend who you know loves something. You got two of them. Split them. Share them. I've got some beers like that. I got two of these and I gave one to my friend Jay because he gave me some beer. So it's all about spreading the love. Anyways, be on the pale. Check them out if you're in Ottawa. I know we'll be back next year. We had a great time. We were there this year. Definitely a place to go to again. Until tomorrow, my friends. Have a great Thursday because I sure am. Cheers. I wonder if beer gives you superpowers. <laughs>